plant tropisms. If a seed is underground, what makes the shoot that develops from it grow upwards? And what makes the root go downwards? It can't be light because the seed is underground. It can't be temperature. Is it warmer higher up or is it colder lower down? Because the temperature will vary too much. The one thing that is constant is gravity. When the seed is underground and the shoot starts to grow out of the seed and the root starts to grow out of the seed there is a chemical produced just behind the tip of the shoot and the root which is called auxin which I'll show you in red in a moment auxin and I'll show it with these little dots now auxin will respond to the force of gravity and collect on the bottom side or the lower side of the root and the shoot but it does two different things in the root and the shoot on this side of the shoot it causes or stimulates growth of each cell so if this is a plant cell it causes it to grow longer or elongate so it causes growth of elongation now what that means is that this side of the shoot is growing faster than this side of the shoot and if one side grows faster than the other it starts to turn towards the side that is growing slowly so the shoot effectively grows upwards in the root it does the opposite it inhibits growth inhibits means stops so the top side of the root is still growing but at a faster rate than the lower side so effectively the root starts to go downwards which is how auxin controls how the root grows down and the shoot grows up this is a tropism and because it responds to gravity it's called gravitropism sometimes it's also referred to as geotropism what about a shoot that has already grown out of a seed and has emerged above the ground so here's our shoot now we have all seen the situation where plants have grown and face 
towards the sun. It's as if they move as the sun moves. Have a look at plants that are on the windowsill, or have a look at plants that are close to a light source. How do they respond to the direction of light? And it's useful that plants do that, because they want to turn the leaves towards the light so they can maximise their photosynthesis. And they do this with another type of tropism. But because this involves light, we call it phototropism. Similar to the reason why we call photosynthesis or photographs. They all involve light. So let's take this shoot and give it a light source. Perhaps from a light bulb. So the light is coming from this direction on the right hand side. Now, the plant chemical, which is sometimes referred to as a hormone, but incorrectly, is once again auxin. And it is produced just behind the tip of the shoot. Now the auxin will actually not have an equal distribution across the whole of the stem, whole of the shoot. It has an unequal distribution. This is the best way to word it in a GCC exam paper. Of course, spell it correctly as well. So it has an unequal distribution and it tends to gather on the side away from the light. So I'll just move some over there. I'll probably just draw some on. So it gathers on the side away from the light. It tends to prefer the dark side. Now what the auxin is doing in the shoot is exactly as the same as what it would do when the seed was underground and the shoot developed. It will stimulate cell growth by elongation. which means the dark side of the shoot will grow much much faster than the light side causing the shoot to bend over towards the light. If it was to move the light around the plant then the shoot would still continue to grow in a direction towards the light the dark side always growing faster than the light side.